why don't we make this why don't we make this a um a little bit informal and first go around and just ask each participant we already know that Kim who's our official presenter and myself Wanda have been to Art Smart uh we'd just like to know if you've been before and uh, then we can then we'll let Kim kick it off from there Not Ben. Oh, can't hear you. You're on. You're on mute. You can unmute yourself. Go to the top right of your uh, picture, and it should say mute. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. There you go. Can hear you now. Yeah. Can yes. you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I was uh, once. In, uh, in this conference, uh, whatever year was last time before the COVID, because right now our life is divided before COVID, after COVID. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, before one time. And I can tell that it's extremely informative conference. Uh, Besides that you learn so many stuff, you can uh, you can talk to your artists. You can hug. You can uh, 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 learn new stuff, especially the prolix on Friday. That is really really fun. I can tell you. And I just look to the schedule of this prolix. I don't know. I would like everything. You mm -hmm. know, whatever <laughs> whatever right there. I really would like everything. So and uh, of course Kim asked me to do some stuff. So just. Whatever you need from me, I will be there and I will help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be uh, helping with the um, setting up the banquet tables, decorating them. You're uh, you're in charge of decorating those tables. So uh, I need to put a call out for uh, artists. Okay. We're looking um, for some of our artists to make vases for the tables. That's where we'll have our lunch and our dinner and stuff. And so. Uh, looking, we've got Wanda, I think. Wanda, did you say you were making a vase? Okay, so Wanda's making a yep. vase. I know Patty, uh, she's making a vase and stuff. And so those will eventually kind of get raffled off. But Natalia, you're you're going to put the flowers. Oh my gosh. And everything. That will be. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be nice. Mm -hmm. it'll be okay, nice. okay, okay. I will. I will so, do. Yeah, I will do so. Uh, the flowers will be provided, right? Mm -hmm. I don't need to buy them. The flowers mm -hmm. will be provided. Yeah. Okay. Every yep. everything will be there. That That's what need. I need to know. <laughs> yeah. You'll just put, you know, arrange the flowers in the vases and put them out on the tables. And so we appreciate you doing that for us, because uh, you know, we we have all kinds yeah, of little things no that problem. go on and that you know need help here and there and stuff but uh you'll have plenty of time to to take part in the conference and i think i think you know that's the nice thing about friday night frolics you can do every one of those um yeah. you know hopefully mm -hmm. in the time frame and stuff like that but uh they're all going on in the same room and stuff so yeah i think the frolics they're they're yeah. really last like they're last really time last. yeah uh, yeah. The other question I have, do you have already scheduled what kind of presentation we will have? Because I know that uh, Wanda will do a little bit about uh, about uh, that business suit, right? Meta mm -hmm. and uh, Canva. Mm -hmm. So something else besides the uh, main presentation. So yeah. Yeah, we, have... we, can go through, we can get Kim to go through the whole schedule. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I am always... <laughs> No. In front. <laughs> no, that's Pat, I hear you've never been. No. I've been. I've been once. Yeah, Pat has Pat, not. Pat has I've not been either. And okay. Flora. Okay. okay. And Laura, who are you? You're kind of your so, screen is kind of cut off. We can't really see your face. Uh which who are you? Have we met before? That's probably on purpose. <laughs> uh, I've never been associated with this before. I am a retired art teacher. Okay. And I retired in 2019. And then I started kind of making my own art. Okay. What kind of art do you do? So that's kind of where I am. Well, right now I'm doing um, wire and glass beads and making botanicals. Okay. Well, welcome. We're we're glad to have kind of started out. Well, thank you. 
What part of the state do you live in? Uh, Central Missouri, Marshall. Okay, yeah. Marshall. Of, uh, isn't that Marshall. A drum? <laughs> isn't the, the old drum, the dog, is he from Marshall? Uh, it's, uh, no, Jim the Wonder Dog. Jim the Wonder Dog, okay. competes with the uh, old drum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome, welcome. So, uh, uh, Pat, why don't we, uh, Thank you. what are you kind of looking for? Do you have any questions and stuff? I don't think so. Just, um, you know, knowing what I need to do to help out is about it. Um, when I talk to Patty, I know that at noon, we're going to, they're stuffing the bags, the tote bags mm -hmm. that they're giving out. Is that right? Yep. The board yep. members. So, so for everybody okay. on here. So I know that. Yeah. Pat, Pat is also a board member. She's a newer board member in the past year and she is a, uh, <laughs> I mean, a gourd artist beyond, you know, unbelievable what she creates and stuff. <laughs> so this this is her Thank first you. first art smart, and so things for her will be a little bit different just because she is on the board of the Best Missouri Hands. And so Pat, it's it is laid back, it is fun. Um, come enjoy. But yeah, the the board will be and the the Art Smart Committee will be stuffing the goodie bags, you know, because everybody will get a tote bag when they check in. Uh, it'll have a notebook in there with information about uh, the frolics and about the guest speaker and our gallery walk and everything. So, uh, um, and we'll have, you know, little goodies that will go in the bag, you know, like Map of Columbia, if you want to do a little walking tour on your own and and uh, some best Missouri hand pencils and just other goodies and stuff. So, so we'll be responsible for do, doing that. And then the board will also have a short board meeting and then uh, we'll kind of get our ducks in a row and, and get into our places and stuff. And so um, there will probably be things that, you know, if you haven't signed up for a specific task, uh, we can, we can fill you in, you know, here and there, you know, selling raffle tickets, helping move things, you know, around okay. stuff like that, but it is, it is no matter what role you play, you're never going to feel like, oh my gosh, I didn't get to enjoy art smart. Cause I mean, you know, there's, it, you, you'll get to, you'll get to do it and see it all and, and enjoy it and have fun. And so, but yeah, if you pitch in here and there, okay. fantastic. Yeah. So. Okay. Laura, do you have any questions or you just kind of want us to kind of run down the schedule and stuff? Well, I kind of got online and looked at some of the uh, events offered. Um, I just guess I need to decide whether I'm going to do all, all weekend or just Saturday or how I'm going to. I, um, I will tell you what, that, but, uh, do the whole weekend if you can, because Really, okay. Um, uh, like Wanda said, I think my first art smart. Oh my gosh, when I shortly after I joined the the group and everything, um, uh, back in like 2012, maybe I don't know. So I've been I've been to every one, but I had to miss one. Um, so I've been to one in Springfield. Uh, you know, Columbia. We did it before, and oh, I don't remember all, but. I have made friends from my very first one. I met Nancy Kaler, who's been a past board president. I met Don Crozier. Uh, he's our current treasurer and his wife and stuff. But I've made friends that they're going to be my friends for life. I mean, they just have, um, they've been invaluable to me as just, it's friendship beyond our, you know, best misery hands now and stuff. But uh, the things that you can like, you just pick up on things because, you know, you're at a different stage of your art career than what Pat is or Natalia or Wanda or I or something. We're all at different stages, but I don't care where you're at. You're going to you're going to learn things. You're going to meet people. That you, And as artists, you know, it's kind of isolated. You, you know, you're working at your studio or in your home, you know, by yourself all the time and stuff like this. And this is an opportunity to get out and be around other people who think like you do, you know, I mean, they're creative minds. They got things going on in their head. Oh, what can I do next? What can I try? And how can I create this? And, and uh, um, just those relationships you form and the things you can learn. 
uh, I know, I remember my first art smart, uh, Jason Jorge of uh, Xanadu Art Gallery out in, in uh, Arizona. He was one of our guest speakers and I still follow him on Facebook. He still puts out great information. I share it to the Best Missouri Hands member page all the time and stuff. But it was kind of like our little, I guess he was like a co-speaker or something. He wasn't the main guy, but Benzi Garza, he's a uh, Hispanic artist up near Kansas City. He he spoke at that conference too. And this is my first conference. I mean, I didn't come from an art background, know nothing about art, knew nothing about how to get out there and get started or anything. And Benzi talked to us and, and he basically in, in his speech said, how do you know if you don't try? And that really hit with me because how do I know if I can't sell here or that I can't create this or whatever, unless I, unless I try. And all these years that has still been my it's kind of like my philosophy well how do I know if I don't try how do, you know I, you know I never imagined that I would go to an art show and sell over a thousand dollars and note cards I mean and 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 note cards and stuff but you know that took it was a long process to get there and and oh my gosh what well Natalia you now you've published a book yeah, now I'm yeah, now I'm publishing books and and it used to be, I mean, I knocked on every door. I mean, I went down like I went to St. Charles and you know, because it's got all these cute little shops and everything along the, the street. I started at one end. I parked at one end of the street and I walked the entire street and then I came back and I went in every single business that looked to me like they might carry my my work. And I went in, introduced myself, gave out business cards. And I ended up getting in a shop. It wasn't the one I really wanted, but I ended up getting in one. And I was there for years. Well, then I got invited by the other shop. They saw me on Facebook and followed me and everything. They invited me. And so now I've been in there, I don't know, 10 years maybe. And so you, you just, like like he said, you don't know unless you try. And one of our other uh, uh, art smarts, our guest speaker got sick and canceled at the last minute. And so somehow we ended up with Cindy Lyric, who was the uh, executive director of the St. Louis Art Fair for many years and stuff. She came and she spoke. And just in her being our guest speaker, I'd never met her before. I didn't have it. I never even heard of the St. Louis Art Fair. Uh, but in her words and everything like that, we started a little conversation at ArtSmart and she invited me to, to apply um, for their emerging artist program. I'd never heard of it, knew nothing about it and stuff. But I was like, well, you know, if this director of this big art show is inviting me to do something, I, you do it. So so I did. And I got in the program. And I will tell you what, other than Best of Missouri Hands, because Best of Missouri Hands has been so influential in my art career and helping me kind of guide me and knowing that I've got folks that I can, you know, rely on and ask questions of and learn from and stuff. Uh, the St. Louis Art Fair is the second biggest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Going through that emerging artist program and getting to see, you know, the wor inner workings of an art show and, you know, learning, you know, how you present yourself at art shows and all that kind of stuff. I mean, and that was all because of that connection because I never probably ever would have heard of the emerging artist program Probably and it's not something people talked about and stuff. Now I talk about it all the time. And so other friends have gone through it and stuff too. So you just don't know what you're going to learn, who you're going to meet, you know? So I would encourage you to come for the whole weekend because I think you're going to walk away saying, man, you know, that, that was worth it. That was worth it. It's an investment, you know, in yourself and, in your, your, wherever you're headed in your art career, it's an investment in yourself. Um, I don't know, Rhonda, do you know if you can write that off? Cause it's educational. Is that something you can write off the art smart? Yeah, you can, you can write off, you can write off your, you can write off all of your, yes. You okay. Can write off all of your travel expenses, your mileage, okay. you know, your mileage, your hotel, the cost of the, 
thing. Now you got to talk to your accountant. I'm not an accountant, but based on whatever your accounting and how you're running your business, you should be able to deduct that as educational for your business. Okay. So, but, you know, again, go to your accountant and ask them, but yeah. it depends on how you're doing that with your business. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so why don't so, we go through the schedule and just sure. talk about what to expect each day? Yeah. Do you have it? Um, Thank you, Kim. Or... That was very informative. Oh, sure. I do. I have it up. So let's. Okay. Why don't we start yeah. with registering? Uh, do you want to see see it or just talk about it? I, I'd rather just talk. Would you guys want to see the schedule? It's published out on a website. But till Friday, starting at two o'clock, you can show up at the hotel and register. And Kim's already mentioned when you register, you're going to get a bag and it's going to be full of all the information. You're going to immediately meet some cool artists that are at the registration desk. So you're going to immediately know some people before you get any further than the registration desk. We're going to help you to know, you know, how to get started, where to go, where to find the bus to go over to the, the reception. Um, there's going to be goodies in there like, you know, and that notebook isn't just a notebook. It's a sketchbook. And so, you know, you can use that during the conference and after you get back home and um, there'll be candy in there too. So, you know, that's all good. Um, and then uh, the next thing up is the orientation. And I'm going to share a bit before I turn that this over for Kim to tell you what's really there. But if you've never been to Art Smart or you're a new member of Best of Missouri Hands, make a point to be at the orientation at three o'clock. My first Art Smart was not long after I juried in in Best of Missouri Hands. I had met no one you know, because I was over in the Kansas City side, and there weren't a lot of Best of Missouri hands really at that time on our side of the state, and I just hadn't, I don't know how I even found Best of Missouri hands, but the best thing I ever did was go to Art Smart. but going to the orientation, I met everybody else that was new, and I met Kim, who was phenomenal about telling us about Best of Missouri hands, and what all we would get out of it, and what we could give to it, and what not, what also we would get out of Art Smart, but it really helped to learn about Best of Missouri Hands and meet a lot of other people who were also new. Mm -hmm. And that way, the rest of the weekend, th there was at least some people that I could go up and chat with that I knew, uh, but she was so informative. So for those of you who have are new, especially new to Best of Missouri Hands, don't make a point to get there by three o'clock and hear all that Kim will share about Best of Missouri Hands. Now, Kim, you can tell more about that. Uh, well, well, I, I appreciate that. Cause I, I don't know. I just, I just love best misery hands. Cause it has, it has helped me in so many ways and opened doors for me that I never, you know, thought about. I just never, it, it just taught me things I've never have known. So yeah. Uh, when you check in, like Wanda said, you're going to get, you know, your, your gift bag and stuff, and there will be a schedule in there and make sure you look at that because Friday, like she said, I will have the orientation for the newbies and um, folks that are new to art smart or something. If you want to attend that, I'll go over everything. I'm a, the thing I like about best misery hands is we're accessible. If you got questions throughout the weekend, you know, find me, Wanda, Pat, you know, anybody on the board, anybody on the committee. Other members, I mean, I have learned so much for them, the other members. Ask, don't be afraid to ask. Nobody there bites. If they do, they've had their rabies shots. You're safe. So, you know, that's I that's what I like, just the accessibility. <laughs> and stuff. So, um, but in that goodie bag too, like Gwanda said, we're gonna have a shuttle bus that'll be available. I forget what time the shuttle starts running, maybe four, four thirty. There will be a schedule in there. Must be must be because the the reception starts at four thirty, so the, okay. the first bus will go before four thirty. I'm sure. So so we'll be done with the orientation. If you come in on that and stuff, you'll have plenty of time. But you can catch the shuttle, free shuttle outside of the hotel and stuff. We'll take you to downtown Columbia, um, to the Columbia Art League. They're going to have um, uh, kind of like a little reception. You know, they'll have little finger foods or something, some little drinks there and stuff. But the Columbia Art League is a uh, corporate or gallery sponsor of Best Missouri Hands. So they are a member too. They will have an exhibit up so you can uh, walk through the gallery, see the current exhibit. We normally, we have a good amount of members that live in the Columbia area. So they're probably Best Missouri Hand members in the exhibit. They also have a retail area 
they've downsized it some, so but there's a little retail area within where we've got a couple members that uh, have artwork there. The nice thing about the Columbia Art League in downtown Columbia, it's a short walk. I mean, it's, you know, like a stone's throw up to Blue Stem, who's also a gallery uh, member of the Best Misery Hands. And they are chock full, floor to ceiling of art. And we have so many of our members have their work there. Uh, Allison Norfleet does, Peggy King, uh, Micah Konecki, um Oh, uh, oh my gosh, who am I thinking? Um, Sonia Nicholson, she works there. She's also going to be one of our frolic leaders. She does origami. And so her her origami art is there. There's just, it, I mean, it's just an amazing place. And then, you know, another short walk, you cross Broadway and stuff, you got access to Orr Street Gallery, um, Artlandish, uh, Serendipity. So there's just a, a an array of places that you can walk to easily and visit and stuff if you like, and then come back, catch the shuttle. And right next door to Cal is a Shakespeare Pizza if you want to grab uh, something to eat. Um, then the shuttle will bring you back, and then we start the Friday night frolics. And like Natalia said, uh, I mean it's just um, it's just a blast in there because you get to try different. Um, different things that maybe you've never tried before. My, it's funny because here I've, I'm such a limited person on my creativity. And the one art smart we did, I think down in Springfield or something, um, Serena Boschert, she is like a, a founding member of the Best Misery Hands. So she's been in this organization for what, 30 something years. And she did a, uh, she did a frolic on, making handmade cards and she just brought a bunch of scraps and you just got to create and all this kind of, where'd I spend my whole night on the frolics <laughs> making cards which is what I do for a living <laughs> you know so it was just it was just funny that I didn't get up and go you know but but that's what you can do you can sit on at one table if you find a table that you really like what they're doing there sit down and create or go around and make something at every table I mean that's the you know the fun of it you can do what you want and you know have an opportunity to learn something new so yeah and we have some fun ones this year we've got annie webster who's our vp of best missouri hand she's going to do relaxing with embroidery which will probably not be the table on that because a needle and me don't mix <laughs> but you never know maybe she'll teach me how to sew <laughs> Um, and then we have uh, Bob Lyle, mm -hmm. and he's going to do Lucky Charms, which he's a he is a metal worker, so mm -hmm. he's going to show us, I think, how to stamp or make charms, which you got to go away with some charms afterwards. Yep. And then, um, sorry, I'm looking at my other screen. Maggie Lowe is doing light and dark drawing, um, so that should be quite interesting using white and light color opaque pens and pencils on black or dark charcoal colored, sorry, materials. And you'll be able to take your creations home. So there's another one where you can try something new and have something to take back home to reference. And our past president, Nancy Kaler, is going to do alcohol ink painting, which I find her work so fascinating. And she's also going to show us how you can turn artwork into jewelry, which will just be a fascinating uh, experience for those who are interested. And then um, Sonia Nicholson is going to do origami crane. So that should be fun too. And then uh, the last one is Cindy, and I'm going to unfortunately pronounce her name wrong, Kiloil, uh, needle felting. So another good one. And I'll share my experience for my one art smart. I got to two tables. I My goal was to go around and hit every table, but one, I'm a little bit challenged on some things and it took me a lot longer, but I made this beautiful paper poinsettia ornament that I still hang on my tree every year. And um, then I went to wood carving with Lauren and I've never carved in wood or did anything else. That little thing still holds my pencil and pens on my, on my cutting table in my workshop. You know, it's just a fond memory of sitting there talking with other people and Lauren showing me how to carve in wood. So 
I, you know, and I think, are, are we going to have a table that's just kind of like empty or did we go away from that? No, we'll, we'll have a, like um, full of coloring probably, books or. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably have like two tables set up because the, the frolics are going to be held in the big room that last, last art smart where, you know, the big auditorium or whatever it is. Um, so we'll have plenty of space in that, but we'll have a couple tables set up with some puzzles um, and some coloring books and stuff. So folks, anytime during the conference and stuff, you want to sit down and, you know, some folks like to stay busy and stuff like that. There'll be puzzles, you know, you can work on or pick up your coloring page. There'll be coloring pencils there and stuff like that. So um, Mikey, or is it, pronounce your name again for me? Because I always, I always butcher it. You're, you're muted right now. She's a painter down in Springfield area. You're still muted. Hi. Okay. Hi, I'm muted. Yep, you're unmuted. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Pronounce your name. Okay. You know, it's I, I, Micah. Micah. Okay, thank you. It's Micah. Micah, like your four Micah countertop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and if you're, you're church going people, then there is a uh, book in the Bible called Micah. Micah's book, The Prophet. So just remember the beautiful halo I'm, I keep wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you, you asked the question, um, how many frolics can we do and how much time do you have? <laughs> you, you can spend as much or as little time as you want at any table. I mean, it is totally, you do what you want. Okay. So if you, like me, that one frolic or okay. Friday night frolic, I stayed at one table the entire night and just kept making cards. You know, like Wanda said, she's done, you know, she, when so she, how, said, many, how many hours? Uh, I think it's two hours. How much it's total time do we have? I think it's, it's it goes from seven to nine. Seven so to two nine. hours. Okay. Two okay. Hours that would be 7 p.m. That to would 9 be one activity. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah it depends like I said I got to two I made two things at it so it probably just depends on which ones you take and whether you mm -hmm. decide after you make one thing that you want to go try something else or yeah. you want to go visit or you want to color and talk or what you want okay. to do yeah. don't miss it because it's a lot of fun yeah. oh I'm looking so forward to it yeah yeah and and we'll have we'll have snacks well, that's Friday yeah, we'll have snacks there and, and, you know, soda and water and tea and stuff like that. So, you know, you can grab you something to eat, sit down and work on a frolic, talk with people. I mean, it it's just a fun, relaxing. Mm -hmm. There'll be snacks at the reception as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, and, and one nice Any questions on Friday. Well, so one, we one thing I was going to say too, about the Friday night frolics, the, uh, that Bob Lyle is leading, um, Bob and his wife, uh, Cheryl, are from Iowa, and they are Best Misery Hands members. Anybody, it doesn't matter where you live, can join the Best Misery Hands. Now, sadly, you know, they're they're very sad because they have been longtime members. They cannot jury. You have to live in Missouri. Um, you have to have a Missouri residence to be able to jury in. But that doesn't mean that doesn't stop anybody from coming and having fun. And so I'm glad they're uh, leading a frolic because he does some wacky, wild uh, metal sculptures and does a lot of hearts and stuff like that. He's just a he's an interesting guy. And uh, so I think that'll be a fun frolic if I if I, uh, um, you know, uh, do a frolic I might try and because I, I you know as co-chair of the of Arts Martin stuff I got to kind of be around and I've got other duties and stuff but but that's one I would definitely like to you know get put my hand at too so hey Marcia thanks for joining us she's a new grandma so she's got babysitting duties <laughs> oh <Aww. laughs> should we move on to Saturday yep so, yes. start, so for those of you who can't make Friday, re, there is registration 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. on Saturday before the uh, it, all the activities begin. And at 8 o'clock is the actual beginning of the conference official as far as the main presentation. So we start from 8 to 8.30 with a welcome and introduction. Um, and then, uh, Kim, I'm going to turn it over to you because our first, uh, you know more about our speaker and you may tell a little bit about our speaker. And then at 8.30, she has her first 
uh, topic and then at 1030, her second topic. Okay. Uh, you know what? And I should have been more prepared for this, um, but I've been working on a huge project. So I uh, am a little behind on stuff, but our, our speaker is McKenna um, Hallett. And she was live. She lived in Hawaii for several years and stuff. She's moved back. She's in North Carolina now, but uh, we met her through uh, Carolyn Udlin, who was going to be our guest speaker at our last conference, and it got canceled because of COVID. So uh, Carolyn's done several workshops for us and everything, and she re recommended McKenna. And just in speaking with McKenna over the phone, I. Man, she just sounds like a fun lady, just uh, very down to earth and uh, outgoing and, and so positive. She's going to talk to us. She's got a couple different topics she's going to cover during the course of the weekend. So like, like Wanda said, she's speaking to us, I think, twice on Saturday and again on Sunday. And she's just kind of covering a range of things from um, basically she's trying to help you no matter what level you know, no matter what stage you are in your career, how to find happy, loving homes for our art. Cause that's what we want. I mean, I've got my spare bedroom right now. It's like, I can't wait for my next art show because my spare bedroom is just packed with stuff. And uh, yeah, I want to get that stuff into homes, <laughs> you know? So McKenna is just probably going to cover a lot of just marketing and um, not, I don't think it'll be real hardcore to be kind of just like soft and what are subtle things that we can do? Uh, how can we, you know, find that client and uh, um, those followers and stuff that, you know, are interested in our work and build that relationship? Because I know for me, myself, um, I think majority of my work sells because of the connection that people have with me and with my art and stuff. But like, you know, at art shows, you know, I saw people just walking by, walking by, walking by, you know, because there's a picture of a cow. Well, you go four booths down, there's another picture of a cow. What makes my cow better than someone else's cow? Nothing except for my story. You know, I can say, hey, that wasn't the drive by shooting. I didn't just drive down the highway and get out of the vehicle and shoot my camera, shoot some pictures of the cow. I know that cow, <laughs> you know, that's Buckley, you know, he's two years old. He's a Randall, you know, he lives in Gerald, Missouri. Blah, blah, blah. So it's my story. And, and I think that's how we all need to kind of learn how to connect with things like that, you know, and that's like Natalia. I mean, her, her pieces that she creates and like Marsha, you know, she's saving things from going into landfills, you know, so it's our story that connects with people. And I think McKenna's going to help us to tap into that so that we can find our, our audience and our, our people for our work. So I think yeah. it'll be interesting. On Saturday gonna... morning, the specific, yeah, the specific topic is, it's actually a part one and part two of the break in between is the ease of selling, which I'm sure Many of us are like me. Selling is not what I want to do. I want to be creating. So anything that anyone can help to make us feel more comfortable selling is always a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we have lunch and a membership meeting. Kim, anything you want to say specifically about lunch um, or the membership so meeting? The, the meals, uh, Patty and I sat down and uh, talked and we, I think we've got some nice meals planned out, you know, I can, and we have vegetarian dishes available at each meal. So if you're a vegetarian, uh, you'll have that option and stuff. So, um, and we'll have a slideshow kind of going during breaks and that, and the, 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 we'll have a, we'll have a board meeting during lunch on Saturday and kind of just introduce the board members, uh, what, what role they play, um, you know, it's just an informative, I think, uh, I think it's a nice meeting. I, it kind of gives you some insight into Best Missouri Hands and, and, uh, and Marsha, she's also, uh, she handles like the jury process and stuff like that. So, you know, it just kind of get puts a face because a lot of folks know me just because, you know, I handle social media and the newsletter and, you know, so, but we got a lot of folks that are behind the scenes that, their role is every bit as important, if not more so than what I do. You just don't see them as much, but their best Missouri hands is an organization, uh, you know, that it, it takes many, many folks to make it run. 
So <coughs> they'll get a little recognition and you'll get to be able to put a, you know, a name and a face together. And I think that helps a lot. So. And we will give out the awards for some of the things uh, like the professional development grant and um, certificates for the new juried members. So you'll be able to put a face with some of those folks as well. And then what is after the jury? Lunch, What's, I'm sorry, what is the jury that you're talking you about? Jury you members. Talk about that, Marcia. Sure. So, um, Laura, I'm not familiar with you, but my name is Marcia Menendez. And nice to meet you. Me too. I'm a fiber artist. And um, I was on the board for two sir, two terms. And now I just, I was the uh, jury chair. So I've just continued to uh, stay as the jury chair, even though I'm no longer on the board. Um, the jury, are you a general member then, Laura, I'm guessing? I am not a member yet. I just kind of found you guys last week. I'd never even heard of you. Welcome. Welcome. Oh. So a, a, you must be a general member to be a juried member. You must be a general member for 90 days prior to um, uh, trying to jury in or, or, you know, submitting your photos for jury. When you are a juried member, you get to hang the best of Missouri juried member sign in your booth or put it on your art however you you have we have little stickers that you can put on your art if you show at a gallery or anything like that and really it's it's there's as you can as you're probably finding since you've been here for a week now that we're a great community we all try and lift each other up and there are a lot of perks to being in best of Missouri hands, but there's also a lot of perks to being in, to being a juried member. You get a, uh, your own page on the best of Missouri hands website. And through that page, we have had, um, people from the Missouri government, uh, commission artwork for the governor to give out to, um, people that he has dealings with. Uh, we had, um, uh, a, a exhibit that would hang in the governor's mansion for a long time. A lot of a lot of art shows uh, will pre-jury you in if they know you're a Best of Missouri Hand member, um, a, a jury Best of Missouri Hands member, because they know that your work is at a level of excellence. You submit your photos and you are juried in by um, a group of peers a group of your peers and um, just like any other jury process, you, you can get in or you can, if you don't get in, you're welcome to resubmit and try it again. Um, it is a, it's a, oh, sorry, my hands there. It is a, 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 just a nice perk. And one of the things that I hear, and I know a lot of the other artists that are um, juried members they'll see patrons walking around in an art show and they're saying, I'm seeing a lot of these signs that say jury best of Missouri hands member. What does that mean? And they can know when they are buying your work, that your work is at a certain level of excellence that you have been juried in by a group of your peers. And, and um, you just, it's, it's a, it's a kind of a neat feather in your cap to say, yep. Yep, I'm I'm a juried member, and that's not to say that general members are any less so. But there's, you know, you get that little perk of, yeah, I'm a juried member, and you get to be kind of an ambassador to the best of Missouri hands as well. So, um, what is your media, Laura? Well, I kind of start. I taught home ec as well as art, so mm -hmm. I kind of started about three years ago doing some fabric and wire jewelry. Uh -huh. And then um, from that, I had all this wire. So I started uh, making beaded botanicals, flowers. And so I make these different, design these different wire and glass bead botanicals. And that's kind of where I am right now. 
Okay. All right. Well, um, I invite you to, to, uh, if you're going to the, to the, um, art smart conference, I invite you to sit down and I'd be happy to talk to you or I'm sure. I would Kim, love that. Wanda. I, yeah. I've been in contact. I also found that, um, best of Missouri hands, uh, mercantile. Mm -hmm. I've been in contact with them, maybe showing some of my oh, uh -huh, stuff there. with the, with the, um, Missouri life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a neat thing, too. So as another way to get my stuff out there, I don't know. But mm -hmm. isn't isn't on Sunday there a mock jury? Mm -hmm. And so that would be really good for, for you to attend because you'll see the process of what you have to do to jury in what, oh, what, cool. what the process is and what you have to do. So that's on Sunday. Don't you don't want to miss that. Yeah. OK, thank you. Photos, thank photos, you. photos, 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 photos. <laughs> <laughs> High quality. That's what you need. And I think everybody would tell you that. Well, and I can add. All right, well, thank you. On and, yeah. Yeah. I can add a little bit to that too. Uh, um, like Pat said, there will be a mock jury on Sunday. So I would highly encourage you. We'll open it up where you can submit your images to get them juried and stuff. Okay. It is a, it is a supportive uh, jury. It's not going to be Oh man, what is who who is this artist? What does you know? It's they're gonna they're there to help you to help you improve and to do a good submission because like like Marcia said, it, that's a make or break. Whether you get into an exhibit at a gallery or into an art show or something, your images and so the mock jury will help you to learn. Like like I sit on a lot of mock juries and uh, the St. Louis Art Fair. I go through their jury and stuff. One thing that painters do all the time is they sign their work and, and they just don't think about it. You know, for a jury, you don't want that signature on your work. You need to take your images of your work before you submit it um, or you need to, you know, Photoshop that image out. So there's just little things like that, that in the mock jury, they'll help you pick up on things. And like Marcia said, our jury process uh, you have to be a member in good standing for at least 90 days, but we only do the jury process twice a year. And that we just had one. Marsha is going to be uh, introducing the new folks that, that got in. And then I think the next one will be in July. Is that right, Marsha? Yeah, the, uh, next, the next jury session will open up July. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Somebody's awake. <laughs> the next jury session will open up July uh first and then close on the 14th. Okay. And 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 so Laura, everybody so, here and then notification will be at the end of the month. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no, I was just gonna say so Laura, everybody here in this meeting is a juried artist with Best Missouri Hands. They all have been members for a while and have been juried in and are exceptional <laughs> artists and stuff. So that's one, awesome. Yeah. So, so some of the perks, um, for one, like Marsha was mentioning and stuff, there's also galleries, like I talked about the blue stem and Columbia and Cal, um, that are best Missouri hands friendly, um, uh, Missouri artist on main, um, the Missouri life mercantile that's opening up in Rochport. So there, there are galleries, uh, and retail shops that Tennessee craft is not yeah, Tennessee that, that, craft show. Yeah, that that know the organization and the quality of artists that we have. So they are very friendly. And like Marcia said, some like the Hannibal um, art show that Natalia does. Uh, if you're Best Missouri Hands member, I think you're automatically juried into that show. So and and uh, um, you like she said, you get a juried page on our website. I highly encourage everybody to populate that page, put your images up, put your story up. Some people just use that our website as their website instead of paying for a website. We've got members that have been found by Nelson Atkins Museum, picked up by them because they found them because they go to our website looking for the best artists in Missouri. Uh, I did an exhibit, uh, a show down in Silver Dollar City uh, that was Best Missouri Hands members only. And I won a thousand dollars on a picture of a donkey. That is my most popular image. Normally it hangs behind me, but uh, you know, I would not have been able to enter that show had it not been for best Missouri hands. 
uh, right now we're running ads in the Missouri Life magazine and we're featuring artists, but you have to be a juried artist to be in those ads. Uh, Wanda was selected a couple issues ago. Um, you know, we got another one that's going out in May and stuff like that, but there is a lot of perks to being a juried juried member. So I would highly encourage you to join the, the organization. Uh, we have a best, we have a, a Facebook page that for members only, you can get on there, listen to what's going on, learn things, you know, ask questions. I mean, we're here to help you, to help promote you and, and, uh, help make your, your journey in the art world a little easier. So it's a very supportive group. All right, Wanda, I'm sorry. Okay, so as we move on, we have our guest speaker right after lunch. McKenna is gonna talk about the golden triangle of success. Just sounds like a great uh, topic. We'll have a break and then we're gonna have breakout sessions and there's three of them. There's James Bringer who's gonna cover Canva and iVideo. We all know how important video is for mm -hmm. social media. And Canva also covers things like graphics, which we can use for all kinds of things. And then Sue Greenberg with the VLAA, the Voluntary Lawyers and Accountants Association, is gonna cover 10 legal and accounting tips for artists. That will be very informative. And then um, I'm gonna cover ins and outs of the Meta Business Suite. Now that was a Zoom workshop. So if one of the other topics is intriguing to you, you can watch the Zoom workshop on our YouTube channel and go to one of the other breakouts. But if you want to see it in person, I'll, I'll do a live demo of the Meta Business Suite, which basically means you can schedule your post and see a lot of insights and plan all your social media for Facebook and Instagram in one place. Uh, Kim, you want to add anything about the breakout sessions? Um, I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, that I have taken all three of the workshops that are being presented at, uh, ArtSmart and I would take all three of them again. I mean, they were excellent workshops and like, uh, Wanda mentioned, which I think that was a good thing because the workshops are at the same time. So you have to pick one and you're like, uh, oh, which one do I pick? Um, Wanda's workshop which I encourage you to go live because it, it, you know, it helped me get over my fear of meta because I was just like, ah, another new computer thing I have to learn, ah, you know, and she demystified that for me. And I've been using, or not Canva, the meta. Yeah. And so I've been using that, um, the past month to schedule posts for the Queenie Park art show. Cause I help with their, um, promotion on Facebook and stuff like that. And so because of Wanda, I was like, okay, I can do this. She showed me how. And, you know, now my posts are going out. Here. <laughs> I just had a post probably go out here while we were in this meeting and stuff. And so it's a lifesaver. But hers is on YouTube, on the Best Miser Hands YouTube channel. And so is James. His Canva um, workshop and his iMovie workshop are both on uh, the YouTube channel too. So like I said, I encourage you to attend live, pick one. But if you if you don't worry, because you can catch one on YouTube, too, if you need to. Um, and Sue Greenberg with the Volunteer Lawyers and Associate Accountants for the Artists, uh, they have um, workshops all the time online. So I would encourage you to get on to their, you know, like their page or whatever and follow what workshops. I've taken the same workshops over and over because I, I'll hear it one time and I'll learn things. I'll write it down and I'll start implementing that but I don't remember all the other things or it's like not at the right timing in my career and stuff. And so I take re workshops repeatedly just because it really does help me learn and, you know, solidify, but that, those are three great workshops that we're going to have. And, and uh, so I think, um, you know, now it's, now it's your choice. Yeah. You got to pick then the rest of the day. Uh, yeah. Yes. And, and again, uh, they'll all be good. They'll all be informative. If you're if you're going to the conference with a friend, pick two different breakouts so you can compare notes. Um, that's always a good way to get more information. Um, then we're going to have a fun rest of the day. There's no more business topics, but they're they're going to be important things from five to six. So after the breakouts, we'll be networking and mingling in the Antler 
Lodge. So it's just a chance to meet artists, catch up with ones you know, meet ones you don't know. And one thing I will suggest, don't be shy. If you're new and you don't know a lot of artists, don't worry that they're already talking. Just go up and join them. Yep. They'll be happy to include you in their conversation. Or if you want to meet a specific artist, if you want to meet an artist that's in the same medium that you are, ask him or I or anyone else that you meet over the beginning of the conference and we'll make a point to connect you up because mm -hmm. uh, nothing's better than being able to talk with someone else who's doing what you do. Uh, so don't, please don't be shy because that's, a, it's just an opportunity. And the next opportunity is dinner from six to seven 30. There'll be groups of small round tables so that everybody you'll be able to talk to at dinner because it's a not, you know, not a big group and just, pick a table. You don't, don't worry if you don't know anybody. It's almost bet. You know, I didn't know a soul when I went to my first Art Smart. I knew no one there. And I came away with the best experience ever from that conference. Uh, so it's just a matter of going in and, you know, just even if you don't want to talk, even if you're a little bit of an introvert, you can still listen and meet people and, and come away with, uh, you know, some new friends or new contacts that you can then reference or contact later uh, to, when you're going through whatever journey you're going through for your art career. And one thing, Kim, we haven't really mentioned is hospitality, which is open all day until 11 p.m. You want to tell everybody a little more about that? Yeah, we'll, we'll have the hospitality room open where, uh, like Wanda said, you can just go hang out and, and meet some friends, you know, start up a conversation, whatever. But we'll have some, you know, <laughs> little little snacks in there and stuff like that and drinks so you'll be able to just sit down and uh, you know enjoy each other's company hang out so that'll be open friday the one thing you won't have to worry about yes and one thing you won't have to worry about throughout the whole conference not only is the hospitality room open with sodas and waters and candies and snacks but when break comes if it's anything like the press one i was at a cart will come into the room with snacks and things to, you know, so you can have, have you will not have to worry about snacks or uh, some kind of liquid refreshment throughout the day and evening. Uh, and then as we move into Sunday at eight o'clock, we'll have our welcome again to our, into the main room. And then McKenna is going to do her last talk, which is the three, so the three sales models. So I'm really looking forward to her approach and her thoughts around selling and the model she uses, especially because she seems so down to earth, mm -hmm. which I think will fit with most of us about that. It won't be, you know, sometimes you, you hear, uh, you know, it's too, it's too uh, professional sales as opposed to the more casual artist sales. So I, I think McKenna will really be good in that respect. And then we'll have a break and we'll have our far, final uh, presentation at 1015, which is the mock jury we've already talked about. So what you should expect is out on the best of Missouri hands, members only is going to be a call for submitting your images. So if anybody wants to submit a boost shot and four images of their work and then hear what a mock, and again, this is just people who are volunteering from the Best Missourians organization are, and some of them are experienced jurors who have juried for art fairs, will give their views on the, and again, you can't take it as a personal thing about your artwork. It's about the photos of your artwork and your booth and how you can improve those photos to get into more and more higher end shows as well as to jury into Best of Missouri Hands. So whether you submit or not, it will be informative You'll mm -hmm. see what others have submitted and maybe one of us, I might do this just because I don't, I'm okay with it. I might submit one of my really bad submissions from when I first started or something, just so that the jury has something to really critique. <laughs> but, you know, we have to have something like that so we all can learn what we can do better. And so, and they'll also point out what's going well with those photos, but the main focus that we all have to get that hard skin about us. It's not about our artwork. It's about how well we photograph and show our artwork and how we display our booth as professional to, you know, in some sense to compete 
especially when you're looking at a St. Louis art fair to compete with the thousands of artists and that, you know, that difference of the background or uh, how much art or how you display it can make the difference between you getting in and a different artist getting in. So it is informative, even for those of us who have been getting into shows for a while. Uh, you know, I'm I'm overdue to new a booth, new a do, new do a new booth shot. So it will be informative for me as I take the time to set up another booth shot. And then we I, wrap I, up, and that's I, Art Smart. I, I'll just throw in one quick thing, Wanda. I think on this that uh, since a lot of our artists don't do art shows, but they do exhibits and they do try to get into galleries and stuff like that, you're not required to have a booth shot. I mean, so you want to, you know, I, I don't know if it's four or five images, sure. that, you know, so you can just submit images of your artwork and stuff. So, but, uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I, St. Louis Art Fair puts on a mock jury every January. I have attended it religiously since 2014 and uh, and I learned something every time, you know, like like Wanda said, just sitting and watching, even if you didn't submit images, which I would encourage you to. Um, but uh, it, you start to pick up on the little things that make an image a good image. Um, like we haven't we you know, a lot of people will, like say jewelry artists will put their uh, uh, jewelry on a rock or something. And you don't think about it. And and it's a beautiful image. And that is great for your social media and your website, but not for a jury image on a jury image. They just want to see that piece of jewelry, you know. So uh, now like Natalia, hers is harder, yeah, fiber. So she's got to put it on a model or a form. That is acceptable. That, you know, that's a, a different a different, you know, thing. So, but but if it was a piece of jewelry, you don't want to use those extra uh props or whatever so um you know so yeah it's it you can learn a lot it's very informative and i'm looking forward to it okay wanda i'm sorry no that is the conference so what other questions do any of you have now that we've kind of gone through the schedule everybody's excited. register online then i guess mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, please register, get, you know, get out there. And if you don't live in Columbia or close to Columbia, get your hotel room. And if you want a roommate to help with the cost, just post that out on Best of Missouri Hands Only that you're looking for, you know, whatever you're looking for in a roommate to help with the cost of the hotel. I'm sure there is someone else who's contemplating going to the conference and thinking about hotel costs or whatever. And talk to your accountant about you know, don't take Wanda's accounting tips uh, <laughs> as far as uh, <laughs> write-offs. Uh, I would like to say thank you to Kim about this hotel room because mm. we had kind of a little bit very strange stuff because we just called to this hotel and uh, asked for the special rate and everything. And they said, no, no special rate, 250 per, per night. Yeah. And I said, no, no, it's a little bit steep. <laughs> <laughs> so Kim was involved to all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so thank you, Kim, just personally for you, because you just doing everything, well, including hotel rooms. <laughs> well, like, like I said, though, there's a lot of us that make it all tick. And uh, so it, I it's a very supportive yeah. group and I'm, and I'm yeah. proud to be a part of it. And I'm glad I was able to help you out. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So I guess I'm going to see all of you. Any other questions? Um, yeah. Laura, are you a, are you, so you haven't joined yet? Best Missouri Hands? No, I just really found this website last week, about a week ago. Okay. Do you have a, so, you have a piece of paper uh, and pencil? Do you have a piece of paper and pencil? Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you my yes. my email address and my phone number. So if you have any questions, you can reach okay. out to me. Okay, so my phone number is 636-358-7042. All right. Okay, and my email is Kimmerhaw. Thank you. Yep, my email is Kimmerhaw, K-I-M-M-E-R. H A W at Yahoo. 
All right. Okay. So Thank you, have you so much. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. We we look forward. Uh, hope you will come and come all three days and make some friends and have some fun and learn. I'd love that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I, I really encourage everyone. And if you know other artists, encourage them. And if they have questions but couldn't attend today, encourage them to, we'll put this up on YouTube. So yeah. if you have other artist friends that are on the fence or don't really understand what Art Smart can do for them, tell them to go out and watch this video after it gets loaded up later this week. Um, you know, because, you know, I'm surprised, you know, I took a chance and went with not knowing a single soul the first time I went. And it was the best experience and the best way for me to really learn a lot about art and the art business and meet a lot of artists in, in, in one place. And it really jumpstart started me down a, a, my new newer journey and selling that I hadn't yet quite jumped into until after that conference. So I would really encourage everyone, don't worry if you don't know anybody, you will by the end of the conference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for doing this today. Oh, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you all for attending. Yeah. Look forward to seeing everybody next month. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank See you. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. Why is it? You want to stop the recording? Yeah.